sir i'm the person uh, i love that uh, the impact of job uh, gives a lot of satisfaction to me uh, so for example sir being in um, technical domain so it gives a good salary but the impact of work the work i do uh, sir it caters to only few domain like narrow domain but uh, in a work in a civil services sir the impact is huge and i can get to work at the grassroots level working on real life problems rather than technological problems what uh, traits which you see in yourself to be a successful civil servant sir so few are like sir adaptability uh, okay. sir second thing sir uh, hard working discipline nature mm-hmm. and third thing so i always look for uh, solutions like how to say so in being in my like five five and a half years of work So I always find a ways to do things in a more um, streamlined process, and efficient process, sir. And also, sir, teamwork. So these things helps me, sir. What about integrity? Yes, sir. Integrity is the most important thing. Leadership and, qualities. Sir. True, sir. Those also. Emotional intelligence. Sir. Yes. Okay, if you are in uh, say in your home district as district magistrate, what will you do? What things you will do? You want to do something which can make an impact on the public or something of that kind? You mentioned. Yes, sir. Uh, so, what will you do in uh, Karim Nagar? Sir, in my home district, uh, so there are few problems. Like? So, for example, uh, so there is out migration still. to gulf countries and to other uh, to other states in search of livelihood mm. sir in that case uh, sir i'll work on uh, skill development initiatives and also uh, sir like working on few sectors which can provide employment okay and second thing sir uh, economic empowerment of women sir majorly uh, women uh, works in sir bd making and also uh, sir agricultural laborers so uh, by linking uh, self help groups with the micro enterprises and also giving them marketing opportunities uh, so enlarging their uh, potential so that development can be done third thing sir so tourism potential uh, so it can have a multiplier effect and it can generate lot of employment what are the tourist spot over there sir um, so geographically and naturally less tourist spots but uh, religious tourism and spiritual tourism and also industrial tourism can be developed for example sir um, many uh, deities like uh, vemala wada and kondagattu are one of the famous uh, spiritual centers sir uh, apart from that what is the tourist destination in your district sir um, there are some forts uh, elegandala fort mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. sir you mention about the self help group self help group are in existence since 1990 Yes, sir. So why they have not been uh, able to do that? They still require some more uh, modification and uh, some more uh, innovation. It's almost forty years uh, or thirty thirty-five years since their existence, and they are still dependent on government. They get zero rate of interest uh, money, and I am told half of the money is lended out, and then uh, they simply eat interest from that. Sir. Um till now so the major focus is on the input side of the self help groups like how to provide um, uh, interest free subsidy like interest free money but the enterprise of inter- enterprises the nature of the self help groups is under explored under explored i would say uh, so for example uh, creating like scientific management of uh, okay. their enterprises you mention about the fundamental analysis of stock uh, sir, as your hobby Yes, sir. Uh, sir, if my interrupt, uh, sir, that was not in my hobby. That was last year, deaf. Last year, uh, deaf. Deaf, sir. No, not now. 
not now sir sorry no no longer you are doing analysis of the stock so i was doing but i did not keep in that this you year you did not keep it in that okay so what is that the telangana has matlab uh, is telangana better off after separation or uh, it is uh, worse off from what it was previously sir after bifurcation telangana has few losses uh, but like like so for example uh, there was a immediate uh, power uh, disruption because of low generating capacity okay and next uh, port lack of port availability c access eh? port availability c access sir access next uh, sir and loss of fertile areas and irrigation problem was there immediate problems okay but in the last 10 years uh, sir it overcame many of the problems like uh, so for example irrigation uh, is improved a lot uh, with the projects like mission kakatiya and kalashwaram lift irrigation project kakatiya mission uh, is for irrigation purpose yes sir it is a rejuvenation of uh, tank tanks and uh, inka what are the other uh... sir uh, per capita income of telangana is one of the highest in uh, major states mm. and third thing sir innovation sector in telangana it is like major hub for it sector startup ecosystem that was there previously also before separation sir but the growth rate the uh, growth rate is too high after uh, like in the last 6 7 years sir and what? fourth thing the major reforms in the power sector uh, from a power deficient state to now a power surplus state at what rate do you know your uh, loan uh, which you have taken in the power sector yes sir how much uh, sir i don't exactly remember the number sir hmm. uh, but the loans are uh, high your power sector is on the brink of a collapse the power sector has not done a great job sir okay and uh, my last question is uh, what is happening to your kaleshwaram project sir uh, kaleshwaram project uh, sir uh, there are uh, some defects in barrages and some pillars of the barrages and you have sunk 1 lakh crore rupees in that yes sir the financial viability and economic cost of uh, kaleshwaram lift irrigation project is uh, so questioned the... and also the cag report uh, said that uh, it is taking around 40 to 45000 per uh, acre to produce the irrigation so it, the cost is very high sir hmm. yes sir saikiran sir so you are uh, working at qualcom yes sir uh, in software hardware uh, sir mine is in it hardware it uh, hardware uh, sir it's a hardware system design sir hardware system design yes sir okay so which part of uh, telangana is uh, having problems of naxalism northern part so northern part of telangana so which majorly uh, uh, borders with uh, dhanakaranya plain dhanakaranya region so for example districts like uh, adilabad mulugu uh, badalri kotagudam jayshankar bupalapalli district sir what are the reasons in your opinion sir uh, so one of the major reason is uh, so the geography of the area the terrain of the area and second thing sir so being uh, uh, forest area and also the infrastructure level is a uh, bit low compared to other parts of telangana so the infrastructure uh, effects and also the spill over from other states so what are the like, steps taken by the government to combat it sir um, uh, so there are like multiple interventions so right from uh, development perspectives uh, to provide infrastructure into these areas and good governance community policing in the name of me police me kosam and sir second thing sir security initiatives in the terms of grey hounds and third thing are there some joint operations with chatisgarh sir i do not exactly know the aware of this fact okay so you take interest in football also yes sir i play in my free time you play in free time so how do you feel that how can we promote the sports I and mean, how can we promote football as a sport because uh, it's not that popular i mean our achievements are quite low in football as far as football is concerned yes sir um so to make pop uh, football more popular so certain interventions like uh, so development at the grassroots level 
uh, so for example promoting in the schools and district level competitions and state level competitions and second thing so cricket has um, state level competitions also uh, in majority of the states but football is only national level competition so we need to include a trophy like ranji trophy and also subsequent trophies like in foot, uh, cricket on that scale in level of football and third things are the level of infrastructure needed so we don't have enough football stadiums just like we have for other sports and also the coaching um, takes a major part in football so we need to have uh, coaching and the uh, scientific management of the players in terms of their agility physique and the tactics uh, so these all plays a major vital role and uh, so international collaborations in football because it's like more of a mind games also sir okay so integrity is one of the very important quality which one civil servant should have so but yes, integrity sir. comes with a cost so do you have some situation where you came across this kind of situation in your professional career sir uh, so i did not uh, exactly face at that scale sir integrity to satisfy is me. a very important quality and it comes with a cost so did you come across any situation in your life where uh, integrity i mean you had a conflict about maintaining integrity or like following other approach uh, sir this was way back uh maybe in my like seventh or eighth standard i was not, not aware of many facts and all this uh, um, many concepts also so for getting some certificate i have to pay some money sir so that was like way back in seventh or eighth class <laughs> okay my last question so andhra pradesh is going to follow three capital formula what is your opinion on this is it good idea sir i don't exactly concur with three capital formula sir because uh, ours is a political system where legislative and executive works in hand in hand and also <laughs> sir having three different capitals at different places sir it increases the cost it may decrease the efficiency in the working nature and uh, so in that case we can go for a two capital formula like we have in many other states like kerala uttar pradesh legislative and executive at one place and the judiciary at other place so it is a middle ground which can satisfy both our uh, decentralized development perspectives and also uh, having different capitals sir. okay thank you thank you sir so uh, government of india is showing a lot of hope in qualcom sir can you tell me the field and areas where india see interest in qualcom sir uh, qualcom is one of the uh, semiconductor company which is pioneering in uh, no, major company just tell me the areas and field sir computing area sir for uh, semiconductor uh, design collaboration with whom sir collaboration with whom Co direct qualcom or qualcom is collaborating with some bodies sir qualcom is uh, collaborating with other bodies to develop manufacturing sectors in india oh, in which states sir uh, sir recently in uh, tamil nadu sir uh, development center has opened and also the second thing is uh, qualcom is indirectly uh, proposing to procure the fabricated uh, semiconductors from india for example tata electronics started so qualcom gave a uh, list that it will uh, buy from uh, uh, tata electronics okay. company qualcom has its own field of electronics and semiconductor as you tell yes, communication etc why qualcom is trying to enter or has entered in sort of automobile industry sir uh, it is a strategy of diversification so because automobile industry now it's more to do with electronics rather than mechanical parts uh, so for which the, type of automobile it wants to enter so electric vehicles with uh, automated Auto driving automation. automation systems okay so what type of platform it will use there sir it is adas automatic driving uh, uh, assistance anything systems to, anything to do with the 5g platforms yes sir uh, because it needs very low latency to intelligently uh, to talk and communicate with it so the 5g is the root of uh, adas system and self driving cars and also the electronics okay. uh, which are the top most uh, world class companies in 5g sectors 
Sir, in uh, 5G communication systems, uh, sir, Qualcomm is one of the pioneers. But Qualcomm could not get that success which it was thinking to get in initial stage. Yes, sir. So what others? Sir, MediaTek came up. Uh, it's a Chinese company. And uh, Huawei from China, it's a major uh, manufacturing in uh, telecommunications. And also, sir, the competitions from Intel and Apple. Okay, Huawei banned in India and many other parts of the world. How it impacted Indian economy? Sir, uh, initially, sir, Hawaii is also one of the major employment uh, generating in India. So, immediate disruption was employment generation. And second thing, sir, um, it was a major telecommunication equipment manufacturer. Sir, uh, previously we used to get cheap imports okay. from them. Okay. okay, good. Your company also works with the radio frequency. Yes, sir. What is different? What is the range of radio frequency and microwave frequency? Sir. Um, Radio frequency, uh, sir, in the range of uh, megahertz to, uh, sir, gigahertz. What, what, uh, what in giga? Sir, it is uh, till 33, 33 gigahertz. No, more than, more than more that. Than. Anyway, leave it. And then my last question, you tell me this, um, um, uh, why India could not uh, get, uh, could produce a single chip till date? having the so much emphasis for last many, many years. Just one line, one or two points. Sir, we do not have any early start. We miss the bus of um, attracting the investments and it requires skill labor. We don't get an investor like Qualcomm. Uh, sir, like we need a lot of incentives, sir, uh, okay. for capital okay. intensive. What, what else, what else? Sir, high skilled, skilled people needed. And uh, so, so, if, much, so many IITs, low skill? Sir, IT skill in manufacturing, sir. We have engineering okay, courses. Okay, okay, thanks. That's all from my side. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Sociology is your optional. Sir. Okay. Can we say that our preamble is a reflection of social contract? Yes, sir. How? Sir, um, in our preamble, sir, we say that uh, we provide social, economic, and political justice to the people and also provide equality and equal opportunities for all and uh, provide fraternity among all the people. So it's a kind of social contract so where we give certain rights to the government such that in government ensures uh, all these freedoms and justice to the people. And it starts with the people, okay? Sir. Okay. Social structure, its implications for social stability. So can you take a moment, sir? Please, maximum five seconds. Sir, uh, social structures sir, play a vital role uh, in bringing social no, stability. Don't and give harmony. me a long narrative. How? Give me, you know, one or two line sir, examples or something. Sir, for example, sir, family is a major social structure uh, institution. So it uh, provides socialization to the people and makes children ready for the future. And sir, many social structure institutions uh, sir, uh, like, sir, religion also promotes harmony among the people, but few negative negatives also. So, for example, social structure like fair, caste. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's stop here. You know, what are the philosophical foundations of our foreign policy? Sir, our philosophical foundation stems from, uh, sir, also directive principles of our state policy, Article 51, where it states uh, that as a peaceful negotiator and uh, so second thing non-alignment nature of our policy and third thing sir vasudeva kutumbakam and also promoting harmony like treating world as one cosmopolitanism nature so these all are the philosophical foundations what was the theme you know when india was uh, india's presidency during g20 what was the theme Three words. Sir, it's Vasudeva Kutumbakam, one nation, one world. One earth, one, one, earth, one, one world. future. Sir. Can we say that uh, that is a philosophical foundation also? Yes, sir, definitely we could say so. Okay, fair enough. Can we say that multiculturalism or multilateralism and national interest can coexist side by side? Multilateralism and national interest. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, so it can coexist. Sir, now we are engaging with multiple nations 
uh, in terms of multilateralism for example having ftas and also sir memorandum of understandings with different countries like usa japan in terms of semiconductors to provide our national interest in terms of manufacturing to increase our exports so these are all going hand in hand sir my last question what is your understanding of comprehensive national power sir uh, comprehensive national power comes in major dimensions like uh, sir economic power very good social power in terms of soft power nature and also the human capital we develop so that acts as a major national power in, in case of india you know can you give us some examples sir these are the examples it is our comprehensive national power sir uh, in terms of human resources sir we are one of the like we are leader in the it uh, sir software services and the knowledge capital of the world so this is a national power and second thing sir uh, the economic power we are growing at rapidly faster rate and uh, sir we are like major in it services exports and now we are moving for uh, manufacturing exports also and uh, second thing sir uh, sir Econ okay we will discuss during the feedback thank you thank you sir